welcome to another video! Today I am bringing you my October book haul. I'm a little bit late, I know, I used to do these like in the middle of the month and now we're in the next month, I'm sorry. But I'm doing it now, that's what counts. With all luck, last time I said this it worked, so I'm gonna say it again. With all luck, this will be the last book haul you see from me until December. I'm banning myself for November. Okay, let's see if I stick to that now that I've said it. Okay, so I have some books. I have eight books that I bought and one book that was sent to me. So not awful, could do better, need to cut down. But yeah, I'll just go through them. I'm gonna start off with the book that was sent to me. This was sent to me by a lovely lady on Instagram. Um, she messaged me because she was getting rid of it and thought I might want it. Um, and that is Maurice. And she sent me a German arc copy of Annihilation. <laughs> I'm so chuffed with this. Thank you so much, Maurice. I love it. I really love it. I used to study German. I know a little bit. No chance could I read it, but like I've had a flick through and I can pull out like bits from my small piece of German knowledge. But I'm just so happy to have it. I love this book an inordinate amount. I'm sure you're all aware that Annihilation is like one of my favourite books of all time ever. And I'm just so happy to have it in another edition and it's an ARC copy so it's first edition and oh, I just... I love it. And the cover is beautiful. I love seeing the different editions from all over the world and I love it. Hokey cokey, now let's go on to the books that I actually bought. I will try and do these in the order I bought them if I can remember. So, early on in October I went to Waterstones and got a couple of books in the buy one get one half price thing because I'm weak and this cover spoke to me on some sort of spiritual level. The like moons, either, uh, moons, planets, whatever they are, are like holographic. I love it. It's so pretty. Um, so the cover drew me out immediately. This is Satellite by Nick Lake and then I read the blurb and I read the first page. You know how I do that thing where if the cover calls to me, if the blurb calls to me, if the first page calls to me, I'll buy it. This had the whole package and I'm really excited to read it. It is about a guy who, or a boy, not a guy, he's a 15 year old boy and he was born on a space station. Yeah, he was born on a space station and he's never been to Earth and he's gonna go home for the first time and I'm excited by it. I think there is not a movie on this but there is a movie with a very similar plot about a boy that grew up on Mars and has to go home so I don't know if like one is based on the other or whatever I don't know if they're related at all but I know there is a movie with that plot. I've not seen it though I don't know. But yeah, I'm really excited by this one. And then obviously because it was in the buy one get one half price thing, I picked up another one. And that one is, what is this called? A Shiver of Snow and Sky by Lisa, Lisa someone, I'm not going to try and pronounce that. Um, and I know that this was in the book box club, book club box, what is that book box called? Book box club, that's right isn't it? It was in that box. <laughs> it was mainly the back cover of this that drew me in. Red, red the lights glow red, beware the danger up ahead. I just thought that sounded really cool. Honestly, don't really know much of what it's about at all. Something magical, I assume, and I'm not gonna find out. I'll just go into it blind, but the cover spoke to me again, and the back. Next, I did something really stupid and picked up a sequel to a book that I haven't read the first one of, eh. <laughs> and that is Shadow Black by Sebastian de Castell. I've got Spell Slinger. Can you see Spell Slinger over there somewhere? I haven't read it yet though, but the cover speaks to me on a spiritual level. Um, and again, it's a beautiful cover. And on the back of that one it says Magic is a Con Game, and on the back of this one it says Sorcery is a Scam. And I, I really need to read these because the covers and just that back bit gets me. And you know, it's all about magic and sorcery being like not quite what it really is and oh, I'm intrigued, I'm intrigued. Then there was another cover buy, I'm noticing a theme for this month and cover buys, what's wrong with me? <laughs> uh, but I picked up the last Namsara by Kristen Kisarel, Cicerel? I don't know how you pronounce that. Um, some stories are too dangerous to be told. On the back, Destroyer, Deathbringer, Dragon Slayer. I am more weapon than girl. Really 
intrigued by all of that and I saw, I can't remember who it was now, but there was someone on Instagram that read an ARC copy of it. Was it Rachel? Might have been Rachel on Instagram, um, read a ARC copy of it and that intrigued me because she seemed to be enjoying it and then I saw in Waterstones and I bought it. She's a dragon slayer. Do we need any more? I don't know. <laughs> then I picked up another book because of Rachel on Instagram. Wow, she has book buying problem and it's clearly rubbing off on me. Um, I picked up Nixia by Scott Rain... Raintgen? Raintgen? Uh, what is it with people having names I can't pronounce? I picked up Nixia by Scott. <laughs> Um, this is sci-fi about mining some sort of material that is way more dangerous than they thought it was and Rachel said it's like really weird so I'm intrigued by that. I do love some sci-fi. I kind of class myself as a sci-fi fantasy lover but I don't read enough sci-fi. I feel like there's so much awesome fantasy. I feel like sometimes sci-fi gets like lost in there and I love a sci-fi so exciting. And then for some obscure reason whilst I was paying for Nixia in Waterstones <laughs> I stumbled across this tiny little puffin classics edition of Peter Pan and I thought it was adorable and tiny so I had to buy it because it was small. Also I've never read Peter Pan. I've only ever watched like the Disney film like once as a child as well so I'm not really all that familiar with Peter Pan and I know a lot of people really love Peter Pan so I'm gonna read it. I have started it already, I did start it when I bought it, I'm only up to like chapter two or something, but yes, Peter Pan. Then, the most exciting thing from this entire book haul, like I don't care about anything else, this is what I'm here for, All the Crooked Saints by Maggie Stevewater. If you aren't aware, I bloody love Maggie Stevewater because of the Raven Cycle, um, and I'm just so excited to have something else from her now that I've finished the Raven Cycle. And here it is in my hands and I can't wait to read it. Honestly, don't know too much about what this is about. I know there's some sort of theme around miracles. I loosely know that it's about a family that can grant miracles but like they need a miracle of their own or something along them lines. I'm not entirely sure. And is it set in like the 1980s? Oh 1962. There you go, not the 1980s, earlier than that. But yeah, I'm really excited to have this in my hands. And then last but not least was literally a purchase from like the other day because um, Waterstones released their newsletter thing and they had the children's book of the month and it looked adorable. Here it is, this is The Polar Bear Explorers Club by Alex Bell. I have never heard of Alex Bell, I had never heard of this book, I'm assuming it might be new, I'm not sure, but with it being the Waterstones Children's Book of the Month it's got the exclusive cover for being Waterstones Children's Book of the Month and I'm so excited. It seems like such a wintry Christmassy book so I'm definitely going to hold off on this one until December because it looks like Christmas but the cover is stunning and when I uh, paid for it the woman that served me she said like the cover is adorable. The insides are even cuter. It's such a heartwarming story. And I love it when people that I don't know like offer up opinions on books. It makes the book feel so much more special to me. Like I will always remember that this book was validated by the woman behind the counter in Waterstone. So I'm so excited to read this because now I know it's just going to be adorable. So I'm excited. There we have it. They are all of the books that I picked up in the month of October. Fingers crossed I won't buy any in November. Hold me to it. Don't let me slip. But yeah, there we go. If you have read any of these books, let me know your thoughts and feelings on them. Let me know if you think I will enjoy them. Uh, obviously don't spoil anything for me, that would be mean. <laughs> um, but yeah, there we have it. I'm gonna wrap it up and leave it there. If you have enjoyed this video, please give us a thumbs up, chat to me down in the comments about all sorts and everything, you know how that works. I upload a new video every Sunday and Wednesday and some odd days in between if I'm feeling generous. And I will see you next time. Bye!